Hello everyone and welcome back, Meet the Parma here, I'm so glad you could join me for another video today guys, so we're back at Slashing Simulator guys, and today I'm about to hit another milestone guys, my first time hitting level 100,000 man, the last milestone I had was 10,000 a couple months ago, been grinding along the way, the game's progressing, and man, look at these exclusive pets dude, I absolutely love the graphics on these, they are absolutely phenomenal and i love it so much guys so today we're gonna hit get that last five levels we're gonna ring in the 100,000 and see where we sit on the top level leaderboard so there's a lot of people extremely high levels guys right now i'm i'm number 13 on the leaderboard so it looks like i'm gonna stay that way at a hundred thousand even but basically you'll notice it says super rebirth available well that was a feature that came to the game for a couple days but they are actually reworking it right now so right here there was a crazy super rebirth with a goku and you could go in super rebirth and there's a shop and all kinds of fun stuff but people were getting insane multipliers and i don't know what was going on right i didn't actually super rebirth yet so this is all stats from no super rebirths at all and that's how players got extreme levels so i think it's getting rebalanced and reworked and all that stuff guys so if you're watching this there may be a new midweek event as well it might have something to do with the titans i'm not quite sure guys but i'm going to show you what i did with the current event and how i got so many levels so the event that was going on it's expired is the forbidden chest hunt you get the sword this rgb well, lion mount and the thunder god pet which i actually do have him on he's this guy right here he's holding the little axe as well and the mount is this rainbow lion it's 40 percent and 65 percent almost as good as the expensive one that costs 12.99 robux so they're not bad for something just participating and look at it dude it is definitely awesome i love it and it's fast it's strong and man does it rock so let's go over to the Forbidden area, guys. It's in the Atlantis world, and it's this zone right here that looks like the Void. So I don't know if this is going to be available to you guys because it is a community event, and these are weekly. But you definitely want to claim your stuff right here if you have the chance, guys. And basically what I did was I sat on the Forbidden chest and basically just attacked it. And every time it breaks, it gives five levels to you no matter what level you are. So, sitting on this for a long time adds up, guys. And this is how I got, like, thousands of levels in the past week or so, right? And this is where we're going to get the last five in just a minute to ding in that 100,000. So, I definitely recommend you get a team together if you can't break it efficiently enough like I can solo because I have strong weapons and all that. Well, get a team together, break this thing. It's going to give you five experience. Plus, every time it breaks, you pretty much get a pet every single time. You also have a chance to get the exclusive mount. It's not a good mount, but it is cool. It's the bull. And here we go. Level up to 100,000. And as you see, we did get a pet right there. It is a mythical pet from the Forbidden Chest. You can get uniques, mythicals, legendaries, all that good stuff. And like I said, the mount you can get is this bull. It's only 10% and 20%, so it's not that good. But it is something you can drop and get. So there it is, man. I'm going to hit the save button to store that data right there. And being level 100,000 is actually pretty cool milestone. Not even going to lie, guys. That is actually very cool. I love being level 100,000. Man, these exclusive pets are really sick looking, man. So another way besides this that you can gain levels is, well depending on what level you are you can farm the titans because they give experience when you kill them and the good thing about titans if you don't have infinity backpack well when you kill a titan it doesn't actually give you any backpack resources i guess to turn in i don't know what they're called but it does give you experience and it does have a chance to drop pets as you saw right there plus if you see the Aaron titan pop up right he's the one that can drop Aaron jaeger which is the best pet in the game strongest pet awesome stats everyone wants it that pet scales up with you as you level as you unlock new zones and yeah that is something even i am on the hunt for still so i cannot wait till i finally get one of those guys but another thing you can do is pretty much open up your pets and you know what i recommend is go searching for experience gain pets guys you want to get the ones basically that give you experience boosts like mr oh my god what's with the stats the stats are miniature right now oh <laughs> what's with the stats okay well, let's try and pop that open one more time and take a look are they still miniature they are miniature stats okay but i think mr ducky or the beach balls give 100 experience 
So basically, it's the boost on the pets, guys. Wow, this is actually crazy, not even gonna lie. I've never seen anything like this. So some pets, you'll see, it's very small here, but this one has uh, a damage boost, experience boost, and a boss drop boost on it. So the man eater is like 60% experience. Basically, put on the strongest experience gain pets you have. Then you wanna go to whatever is the hardest uh, world you're in, and you wanna kill the boss, guys, because when you basically have all that extra experience boost, that means you're gonna get all that in return, and bosses give major experience. So when he drops, I'm gonna get a whole boatload of experience, but his health is so high right now, that man, it's gonna take me a while to kill him. I don't remember him being this strong. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know what the deal is. It's because I got on the Maneuver Blade. That's why. The Maneuver Blade is a weak sword, guys. I have to actually put on my most recent sword right here. So I was farming the Titans and I used the Maneuver uh, Blade, the Maneuver Gear Sword, which is in the Exclusives tab. It's right here, Maneuver Gear. And I do recommend if you're farming Titans to get this. It does cost 150 Robux, but I did a video on it you, you could find and it is absolutely a lot faster than using a regular weapon, guys. But I'm gonna switch to my regular weapon right now because obviously I'm not farming the Titans and I wanna do some, some more serious damage. So let's go back now and let's go ahead and yeah, it's starting to go, oh, there you go. See that super slash? That did some serious work, guys. Let's go. So now, as you see, it gave me a boatload of experience, 7.7 QN, but man, that's not even enough. So even with, uh, you know, my pets on, which some of these have experience, some of them don't, but what I'm saying is, guys, it's just a technique to use. Pop, uh, two times experience boost, you'll see I have right here, because I'm VIP, I get 15 minutes of double experience, so that multiplies on top of my game pass and modified by all the percentage boost pets that I have on guys. So that's just another technique. But really what I recommend is Forbidden Chest is a guaranteed five levels every single time it breaks. And the Titans give pretty good experience as well depending on what your level is. So that's really what I would go for. Um, to be quite honest with you, it probably works for a majority of players. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy one more time. And I just slapped on all these exclusive pets just because but actually, if I step away here for a second, go into my bag, so I have an I do have an experienced team. So let me put the XP team on right now, just to show you guys. This one is Gearboxes, Beach Balls, Steam Engine, Steam Engine Penguins, my Floppa, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and stick it back on here. Is, is, is it gonna actually load? Let's go, let's go. Stick them on, we're almost there. Seven, it stopped at seven. What is going on? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think it just equipped them. Yep, so I have on all three. You know what, I feel like that deserves a save right there for sure. So now let's go ahead and break it and let's see if it gets more than 7.7 .7, like the last one. Yeah, see, 230, that one gave 232. So there it is, guys. That's the, the difference right there when you stick on experienced pets. And these probably aren't even my best experienced pets anymore because I haven't really refined that team in a while. But I'm just trying to show you if you want experience, stick on the experience pets, get the levels, get the milestones. Let's cap this off by going back to the little PvP area because it's right next to the leaderboards. And let's go ahead and take a look at the top level here and see what it looks like. A hundred thousand, man. I will take it all day long, baby. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm looking forward to Super Rebirths actually coming back in the shop. So we could take a closer look at those and, you know, start pumping away and leveraging that, guys. So that's all I had for today. Thanks for sticking with me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.